Seven stakes. They're under starter's orders. And they're away. And Starway dwells a little bit in the box. And it's vaguely tender the first to show from Light Cavalry going up on the outside. Light Cavalry going uh, right up to join the Vaguely Tender. Then come Shining Two on Rontino on the inside and then St. Jonathan and Super Asset. Then Northern King and Saviour. And then Starway has made up that lost ground and just uh, relegated Johnny O'Day to last place and it's vaguely tender from Light Cavalry, Rontino, Shining Tour on the inside, Northern King and then St. Jonathan and Super Asset and Saviour and Starway and finally Johnny O'Day as they race down into Swindley Bottom, vaguely tender and Pat Edry in the lead. From Joe Mercer on Light Cavalry, then comes Willie Carson and Rontino. Behind them are Shining Tour, behind Shining Tour is Northern King and then St. Jonathan and Super Asset, then Saviour, Starway and Johnny O'Day and the past the mile marker already and vaguely tender in the lead from Light Cavalry second and Rontino third. Shining Tour four, five is Northern King. Six just behind them comes and Jonathan. Then Super Asset and Saviour and Starway and finally Johnny O'Day and they race past the seven furlong mark. Vaguely tender in the lead from Light Cavalry second, Rontino third. Behind them comes Shining Tour. Matching strides then St. Jonathan and Northern King. Saviour making a little bit of ground on the outside of Super Asset. Then comes Starway and finally Johnny O'Day. They're passing the six furlong marker and still vaguely tender in the lead vaguely tender from light cavalry and rontino then close shining tour Saviour making ground on the outside of St. Jonathan, Northern King on the inner and then Super Asset, then Johnny O'Day and then Starway who's been relegated to last. They're coming to the half mile point from home in the King Edward the seven stakes and as they do so, it's vaguely tender being pressed by Light Cavalry. Then comes Rontino on the inside of Shining Tour, then St. Jonathan, then Saviour making ground on the outside of Northern King as they turn into the straight, vaguely tender from Light Cavalry, Rontino and Shining Tour. Then behind them comes and Jonathan's Saviour's making ground. Lester Bigger just in behind him. They've got two and a half furlongs to run. Vaguely tender being pressed still by Light Cavalry. Then Rontino. Then Shining Tour coming there strongly towards the outside with St. Jonathan under pressure. And then Saviour who isn't done with yet. It's Vaguely Tender and Light Cavalry from Shining Tour. St. Jonathan on the outside. Then comes Saviour. They're coming to the furlong pole. Light Cavalry now takes it up from Vaguely Tender but putting in a good run between horses is Shining Tour. St. Jonathan coming there and Saviour putting in a tremendous run now towards the stand side and it's Light Cavalry in their lead as they race up towards the line being chased by Saviour Light Cavalry and Saviour Light Cavalry's won it from Saviour second and third St Jonathan four just in behind them came Shining Tor and then Johnny O'Day and behind him Vaguely Tender and Starway and Rontino and Northern King and Super Asset and so the result of the King Ed with the seven stakes is first number three Light Cavalry owned by Mr. Jim Joe, trained by Henry Cecil and written by Joe Mercer. Second was number eight Saviour owned by Mr. John Morrison, trained by Jeremy Tree and written by Lester Piggott. And third was number seven St. Jonathan owned by Mr. Richard Swift, trained by Barry Hills and written by Steve Cawthon and fourth was number nine, Shining Tour. So a double for both Joe Mercer and Henry Cecil. A fourth triumph in the King Ed with the seventh stakes for Joe, who won it in 65 on Convermore, 71 Sea Friends, 75 Sea Anchor. Here's how he won it in 1980, as we review it with Julian Wilson. Well, the one thing Light Cavalry does is stay, and so the tremendous pace that Pat Hedry set on Vaguely Tender was just what he wanted. At this point, uh, Joe's come to challenge uh, Vaguely Tender, also between horses there was Ron Tino, Willie Carson didn't have a lot of room to make his challenge there and then the white cap of Lord Derby shining tour and Lester Pickard coming from behind just switching round St Jonathan there his man Saviour with quite a bit to do two furlongs out and he's had to switch round the entire field to make his challenge at this point Jonas has hit the front on light Cavaliers Vaguely Tender weakens very quickly. Brian Taylor looked a big threat on Shining Tour at this point on the far side. But look how well Saviour and Lester Pickard have finished. This was a real St. Ledger trial for him. But Joe Mercer had got first run on Light Cavalry and he wasn't going to stop galloping at the end. And at the end he's got half.